football playoff, the semifinal, who do you have in the first round? Clemson playing Alabama in a national championship. Alabama. I guess I'll go with, I'll go with Bama. Oh, Alabama. Alabama will be there for sure. I don't know. It's, it's, it's different because Alabama is Alabama, obviously. And then, then you look at it from Michigan State's point of view. All they're going to hear for a whole month is that they don't have a chance or anything like that. The upswing, but they're nowhere near elite yet. I'm going to go with Bama. I'm going to say Bama figures it out. They'll figure Connor Cook out, who shows up in big ball games. Hardest thing in the world is pick against Mark D'Antonio because that guy finds ways to win games more than anybody else, except Nick Saban. So I'm taking Bama. I'm going to go with Alabama. How has Mark D'Antonio done with this program? How's he built it? He's had a, a, a real uphill battle trying to win respect for his program, and he's still in the middle of it. give you great defense, we can run the football. I don't think Michigan State will ever be validated because they don't have that brand value. Mark Hellman is a nine and a half point underdog. <laughs> Nobody mentions Mark D'Antonio among the elite coaches. Hell, he's not even considered the best coach in his own state. Harbaugh gets all the love. You look around, and if I said to you, what were the three most consistent looking football teams in the last five or six years? I'd say New England, Alabama. You know who I'd say would be number three? Is Michigan State. When you really look at it, uh, we sat around all day and listened to how we were underdogs. And I think that motivates people. And uh, I think you're only underdogs if you think you're underdogs, first of all. It's not what, quite frankly, you write about things. We won our last four bowl games. We beat Georgia. We beat TCU. We beat Stanford. We beat Bay. We're pretty healthy in that regard in terms of competing against good football teams. We ended up number five in the nation. We ended up number three in the nation. But when you get to that point, sometimes that's not good enough anymore. At the beginning of the season, we talked about reaching higher. <laughs> Bowl win since 2007, 2008. Eight games in bowls over that span. Second most in college football. And nobody ever mentions Mark D'Antonio in the names of great coaches. Coker looks deep in the double coverage. He's got a man. It's Calvin Ridley, and it's another touchdown. It's, it's just funny. Is he not glib enough? Is he not known enough? He's got 65 wins and three titles.
要。